Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Tom welcoming you to another study in the Word. I want to thank you for joining me. This is going to be our 34th session. This one, a prayer session on deliverance. And today we're going to be dealing with a very strong and powerful area that evil spirits like to get into called retaliation. It moves along with destruction, spite, hatred, sadism, hurt, and cruelty. That's retaliation. So we're going to pray for you in just a minute if you're struggling with any of those areas. I do want to say our website is faithalifefellowship.org. Please go over there. Please uh, um, uh, make sure that you look at our free seminar page and please subscribe to our videos as well as go to our playlist. See, there's 34 of these in, in, our, in our playlist. We got all kinds of videos. It's an ongoing school of the word. And please share this. Now, saying that, I'm going to deal with this area. I want you to know that the way that you do this is when an area has been troubling you. Something happened where those evil spirits got in, and we need to repent uh, of the areas. Now, it may have been even something you didn't do. It could even happen in the womb or, you know, because of the, the generations that come down, the sins of the, the fathers and so on. But if we'll just simply repent, it closes the door to them. They become weakened. They're exposed when I, when I, when I name these different areas, and then, bam, we command them to leave, and they have to leave us. And so, your part of this is to pray along with me, repent. My part is to give the faith command, and then your part is to worship and praise and thank God, because that's a very important part of deliverance: is learning to be thankful, worship and praise God, and thank Him for your deliverance, just like you thank Him for your healing. When you've been healed or or you've been had a prayer for healing mark eleven twenty four says what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them well if you believe you receive something you're going to be thanking and praising god for it you see what i'm saying so it's important that you do that now retaliation this is something that is a strong man destruction spite hatred sadism hurt and cruelty kind of go along with it so i'm going to deal with those things so i i want you to take a moment if you're one that's, that has a problem in this area, you retaliate all the time. You just you, you you have hatred and sadism and hurt and cruelty, and you just want to do that all the time. And you know you need deliverance. You know these evil spirits are tormenting you in this area. Then I want you to just turn this off for a minute. I want you to take some time. And just go to God and repent. That means to turn away, ask Him forgiveness, confess your sin, close up the doors, come back to this video. Now that you come back to the video. We're going to pray for you, and the Bible says that if two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything we ask, it shall be done for them. By our Father which is in heaven, where two or three are gathered together in his name, there is he in the midst of us. So he's here right now. The Bible says, Behold, he has given unto us power over to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm us. The Bible says that one of the signs that will follow us is we will cast out devils. It's really not that hard to cast out devils. And so we're going to do that now. Now I take authority over the strong man of retaliation and all the lesser spirits of destruction, spite, hatred, sadism, hurt, and cruelty. I take authority over you. I bind you up, all of you. I bind you, you strong man. I command every one of you to come out of them in Jesus' name. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Come out of them in Jesus' name. Loose them. Set them free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that they're set free by the power of God. Now, you, you thank God. You praise God. You worship God. If you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, by all means, they'll come back in. If you don't give them your life, you need to give them your life right now. You need to go over to our uh, faithalifefellowship.org and watch the missing link get filled with the Holy Ghost. That's very important. And if you'll do that, you can stay free from these evil spirits and you won't be tormented by retaliation, destruction, spite, hatred, sadism, hurt, or cruelty anymore. They're loosed out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, if you've been set free today and you know it, please let us know. Give us a testimony. Uh, you can go to faithalifefellowship.org and do that. That's where we get our testimonies. And I just want to say this to you, please, if this has been a blessing to you, share these videos. 
They're, this is the 34th. Many of them are teaching videos. These are prayer videos. I've done a lot of teaching over the years on deliverance. There's a lot of wackos out there who um, supposedly work in the area of deliverance, and I'm not a wacko. I want to stay on the word. So we're really out to help you, and many people have been set free. So i got to say this one more time. Please share this video. I appreciate it. That's how they get around. And until next time, this is Pastor Tom reminding you, feed your faith, starve your doubts to death. God bless you.